So what, 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 what I would say to you, I would say to you that even if you look at your Bible, the book, and if you specify the clear verses and unclear verses, if you make a distinction between those two, you will not find the clear verses say Jesus is God. But this is clear though. So we need to concern about what Jesus has to say about how many God? Is there one God, two God, three God, four God, or five gods, right? So when Jesus... One God, right? That one God, yeah. No, but three in one was not advocated by Jesus Christ. Now, if you look at Jesus had clarified specifically this issue. Jesus, not the church father, not the Christian. When he was asked, when he mentioned that the only true God is Father, hear the line, only true God is Father in John 17, 3. Right? Here, Jesus specifically mentioned the word only means see I need to have my right in front of me I know in John 1 it says in the beginning was the word word no but then again this is an yeah this is an ambiguous verse if you look at the Unitarian Christian they don't interpret as a three in one by the way Holy Spirit is not there even right so you're right so the question goes back did Jesus worship did Jesus Christ worship himself no Holy Spirit from Genesis the right, but yeah. Genesis is not your book, right? Genesis is in the Bible, yes. No, but do you follow? Uh, the Old Testament and New Testament. Yeah. So, oh, do you follow Old Testament? The Old Testament and the New Testament. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Come here, come here. Sorry, sorry, come here. Sorry. So, do you follow Old Testament? Old Testament, no. Okay. Do you... Do you think Jews? Yeah. Do, do you think Jews believe in triune concept of God? No. Okay. Oh, right. So okay. So that Torah understanding of Torah is not three in one. For the Jews, I'm not a Jew though. Okay. Right. So so your book is New Testament, and your New Testament never said Jesus is God and worship. Him. My book. Like it's the your, Bible, it's yeah, old right. Like Old Testament do not have that triune concept of nature explained in the Old Testament. It's nowhere, it's clear in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, our Lord, God is one, right? Yes, sir. No, these are clear verses, right? These are clear yes, verses. Right. You're saying everything, he's just after saying it. No, but then again, this is the core concept. Right now, Jesus Christ. No, but he, so he clarified it. What did he say? If, if, even if you look at the Mark chapter, no, if you look at Mark chapter twelve, when he was asked, "What is the first commandment?" What did he say, Jesus? There is, yeah, there is only one God. No, the love, love your neighbor. This was the next one, but yeah. But the first one is always one God. And you shall have no other God. Exactly. Now, when, when say you shall have no other God, when you use no other God, it's making a specification that not all of them, specification one, right? So there is, when it said no other God, it referring a specification to someone else. So therefore, these who is God has been clear, clarified in Bible. It is the church understanding and the uh, council understanding the nature of God, right? So therefore we say we believe is the Lord of Jesus who, who he worship. And a Muslim, we worship the Lord of Jesus and uh, the you know God of everything in the creation. Allah, Allah is the Allah, 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 Allah is the Arabic name of God, right? And you do not worship Jesus. No, we don't worship. No, look, look, we don't worship human being. No, because human being is incapable to hear your answer. Only God can hear your prayer. Right? Jesus. No, no, Jesus. Jesus. Now, Jesus, he, where is he, Jesus now? No, no one comes to the Father okay. except true. Hear human me out. Hear me out. Jesus. He said it. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus is the footstep that we follow to reach God. He is not the destination, by the way. No. Right. So now, God is the destination, right? So therefore, Jesus is a median, right? Means he's a prophet. Means if you follow his teaching, now did Jesus 
pray to God? Yes, he did. And we find on the Garden of Gethsemane, he fell on his face and he prayed, right? So now, can God pray? Yeah. Now, when, when, when someone prayed to someone, Yes, he then he cannot help himself. How can he pray to himself? I right. know this, okay. Well, he was sent as a servant. He was here on a mission. Yeah. He was a servant of God. He's a servant. So if you say servant of God, yes. do you know what a servant of God means? He was sent here. In servant, servant, you know, servant of God, creation of God, representative God, these are the title we can go give it to prophet. So therefore, the best fit, best fit definition we can give it to Jesus Christ is a messenger or a prophet of God by your own admission. Uh, do, do you see my point? He said he was a servant. So he, no, he if, if, no if, 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 if I say I am a servant, does it mean I'm God? Yeah, but do you believe in the Immaculate Conception? No. No. What? no. Okay. So do you believe that Jesus was fully man? Sorry, I we believe he is uh, he's a prophet. Yes, fully man. You don't believe he was, see, I believe he was fully man and fully God. No. We say God is perfect. Jesus and man, perfect. no. Man does not have godly attributes. Man has human attributes. Now, if you say God has a godly attributes, godly attributes mean the creation, create things. What did Jesus Christ create? So, is the star created by Jesus Christ? Jesus, in the beginning, was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. What was before the beginning? Because in order to begin something, you have to must have something prior to this. In the beginning was the Word. The Word is Jesus. No, I'm saying in in order to begin something, in order to begin something. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was Jesus. The Word was with God, which is Jesus, and the Word was God. Now, now, which is Jesus. Does does word become flesh? And he poured himself out into so, flesh. does the word become flesh? It doesn't say that in that scripture. No, but you are referring it already. Right now, in the beginning was the word. The word was God, and the word was God. Okay. Right? Does that word become Jesus. flesh? To or does me, the, the, Okay. Does that word become flesh as a Jesus? In the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word. If you say that, it's a problem. Do you know why? Because Jesus Christ died according to your understanding. That means God died, which means no, the world Jesus is finished. Jesus died as a man. The man okay. died. Okay. So when the man part was died, so when the man part was died, does the is the God part alive? God's always here. Like God is. See, so therefore, it's clearly distinction. Okay, can Father die? Can the Father? No, of course. Can Jesus die? He's as a man, yes. All right. Now, when you say a man, when you said okay, when what about other nature of Jesus? The Holy Spirit. Is the other nature of? Of God is Holy Spirit. Are you saying the Holy Spirit is this? No, a Holy Spirit. Now, now, God is the Father, right? Jesus has a human form and divine form. So when human form, okay, okay, when the human form, when human form was died, right? Flesh died. Okay. What about the other form? Was it with Jesus? Uh, what was it with Father? The other form. Spirit. The other form, yes, the spirit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that means it's not three in one, it's two and a half. Two and a half. This Holy Spirit is No, but Holy Spirit is a distinct one. Yeah. He came down. No, if you look at the definition of Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, these three are co equal, co eternal. So therefore, you cannot apply this to Jesus Christ because Holy Spirit is separate. Do you not see my point? Jesus is separate from God too, but it is same. Now you are understanding it. Okay, so that means Jesus Christ is not God by your own admission now. No, Jesus is God. It's God. In now you now you putting again going back to what you what do you agreed already? Do you see? You are confused now. Holy you know, I, I I tell you. You're confused. No, you 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 already you cannot, you cannot reconcile. You cannot reconcile the Trinity. Yeah. You cannot reconcile the Trinity. Do you know why? Allah said that had there been more than one creator, the universe will chaos and corruption. No, there so was you, no word. There was one creator. No, one creator cannot be three in one. One creator must be one in one. If you add one plus one plus one, is it one or three? 
it's three so, separate, it's three persons in one. So the God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Yes, and you give me what say for what? But you, you are forcing your you are forcing your mind to make it believe. Because that's what I believe. No, but if we say God so when 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 Jesus was died uh, when Jesus uh, when okay, okay so you are saying Jesus is fully God right he's fully God and fully man okay so when the man nature died God nature alive right yes so that means the nature of God can die are you saying no man the flesh okay so are you saying God is now if I take the other nature that means the other nature is perfect so one nature can die here we have man and a Jesus so he, spirit nature right so when I'm saying when you're saying a woman which made him flesh yeah born of God oh, okay which made can can deity. can bo God born through 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 the wombs of the mother wombs of the and woman God, yeah so in order to be born so we could understand so we could understand him face to face as a man he had to be born a man yeah. well obviously not born a man but they, then grew so man. therefore so it's not flesh. God God doesn't born but, so because look if you say the man is born I agree because it's a man right yes. so two a man and a woman together is two is flesh and they give and she gives birth that's, to that's, flesh this is what called right? human that is the definition yeah. of human being that's not the but definition of God the conception in the Catholic call it the immaculate conception yes it's born of God so God came upon Mary she got pregnant right she was pregnant and then gave birth to Jesus yeah okay which was flesh okay. can, can God has a start Starting point. You said God is born. No. See? Do you see the problem? Do you no, see the logical it's problem? A problem. Yeah, it's a logical. It's you, 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 you don't see that problem. problem. It's no, no, it's not a problem because you're not understanding. No, I'm, I'm clearly. I am, I am, I'm, I'm for giving you. To understand. It's hard for me. Let me tell you something. I wanted to, I wanted you to think about one thing. There was a teaching of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. One day he was he was overpraised by his companion, yeah. and he said, "Do not overpraise me, as they overpraised Jesus Christ, and they make him messenger to God." So, the same, again, sorry, you know, overpraising when when we overpraise yeah, someone, said yeah, overpraise him. no, 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 he said to no, he he he, he was receiving praise from his companion and telling them, "Don't overpraise me." As companion of Jesus overpraised him, and they make you mean the apostles? Yeah, apostle or whoever okay. around the community, they overpraised him, and they make him messenger to God. So I asked you to come back to follow the religion of Islam, which is the God of Jesus Christ and. God of all the creation. Christendom is, comes from Jesus Christ. No, no, Jesus Christ is not God. Is as you as I've demonstrated to you. Christendom is not Islam. Do you know the definition of God? Do you know the definition of God in Islam? Let me give it to you. Think about it. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. I'm, I'm, give me a second. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Walam Yakullahu Kufana has said there is he is God, the one Allah Samad, he is eternal refuge. Lam Yalid Walam Yulat, he neither have a father nor he has a son. Walam Yakullahu Kufana has there is nothing comparable to him. Simple, clear, absolutely clear. No one should be for everyone. No, this is the simplest. If you ask. Yeah. All of the people and ask them, this is the definition board. You mean all the Muslims? No, Not all the Muslims. Those who are sincere, those who are mind and heart is open. He would say, look, this is make sense. Trinity, it doesn't make sense. How no, can it doesn't make sense. No, no, that no. That Trinity doesn't make sense because how can be God is all perfect and suddenly become not perfect? No, yes. It, man, what is man? Man is Man contain imperfection. But he was perfect. No. Okay. When he's a perfect, does it mean, does he know everything? 
He's limited in flesh. Okay, so if he's limited in flesh, that means he has, he, has, he, has, he does not. So, okay, so he's not perfect then. He is perfect, he was sinless. Okay, when you say perfect, define me what is perfect. Perfect was he was sinless, he was holy, he was, you know, like like God, yes, like God. God is perfect. Okay. God is okay, are you saying when someone cursed something, is it sin or not sin? Cursing. Cursing, I, if I say, I'm cursing you. That's a uh, person. Cursing something. Oh, you mean? Okay, the, okay, so my Irish way of. When you say cursing to me, that's F you. Whatever it is. Cursing. So if Jesus Christ cursed on the Bible, do you consider him as a sinner? Did he curse somebody? Yeah. Tell me who. He was cursing the fig tree. The what? He, he went to a, a tree called fig tree, and then when he realized. Uh, the season is not there for the fig. Then he cursed the tree and he said, May no one should me, eat me, the fruit. Tell me that scripture. I okay. think I know this. Okay. Tell me this scripture. And of course, I read it before and read it after. You need to read your Bible. I do read my Bible. I have read my Bible. So, um, read. I know I'm not asking you to tell me. I know this is what you're saying, but read it before and read it after. Okay. No, we don't. It's just talking about cursing. Because you brought up sin, that's why no, I'm. No, no, no. You need no. to read concepts no. before and after. Okay. Okay, okay. You okay can look. Pull anything look, 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 look. You even like pull out the comforter. No, I'm. 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 I'm, 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 I'm showing you. In front of you, yeah. Uh, you can read it for yourself. The next day, they were like us before this. Yeah. Go to before. Where's this? Yeah, yeah, Sorry. Yeah. So let me tell you what. How the I can't read that. No glasses. Okay. On. You can open it. I'm not arguing, but you, I get this from your daughter as well. Okay, so here, so here, sorry, uh, Leah, you can, sorry, I don't want to... The next day is the relief in Bethany, Jesus was hungry, seeing in the distance of victory. So he was hungry because he was flesh, so he is, in order for him to So at that time, was he God then? He was hungry, he... Okay, tired, read it, read it. He, yeah, know, okay. everything a human would it, 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 read it, read it. Further read. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves because it was not the season for seeds. Okay, right. right. Then now, he said now, now, the no, then he May said to okay. No one ever eat fruit from you again, and his disciples heard him say. So he was cursing the tree. I'm reaching to Jerusalem to send to the Now, right now, those who are buying and selling there, like this is yeah, when he got ang angry at So he was cursing the fig tree here. So. Is cursing is cursing a sin? Is cursing a sin? If it was, may you, may no one ever eat from you again. See, well, that's not a curse. So, that's not cursing. That's not to me. That's not cursing. Okay, so you can define, you can change that definition of cursing. Well, if I said fuck you, you're a this or a that. That's cursing. No, but this is not only cursing. You labeled one thing in cursing, but there are other things. Cursing means I'm angry on that. May That's no one should. If I'm angry at you, I'm not cursing you. No, cursing not. May no one eat fruit from the old tree. This tree. That's not cursing. That's, that's it. That's cursing. No, what can it be? It's cursing. I'm it's very, it's very, very simple English. I don't know why you're not getting it. I know. To me, that's not okay. cursing. That, so, okay. Okay. That, what does that demonstrate? And I put that, okay. Okay. That's cursing. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to the point. It still demonstrates that Jesus Christ was not aware of the season, means he's not all knowing. A God must be all knowing all the time. Yes. Right. So he was in flesh though. He was okay. limited now, like we are. So if, well. if, if you say God is in the do you see do you make separation of flesh with God? In Jesus' case, no. No. In because that case, you, you can... Full flesh. If, if you say, no, the flesh is part of God, then you are saying God is perfect no. and imperfect. 
Do you see the problem? No, God is perfect. But he's not perfect. Jesus was sent down as a servant for on a mission. He had a job to do. So he had to come down. Do you understand? No, I I am talking a particular topic. Yeah, I know. You're trying to catch me out. And no, I'm not. I'm, I'm giving you. I'm just giving you. You're trying to make me look ignorant. No, no, no. I am. I am not. I'm just giving you. The fact of the matter is, in the demonstration of Jesus in the Bible, does he fit to in the God category? Does he fit? Jesus. Yeah. Yes, he does. Where? That I've just demonstrated he doesn't know the season. No, I know you have, but that makes it, that's, that's irrelevant to me. No, it is relevant. No, why? God can't be ignorant. God must know things. If God doesn't know, then how, how can he create things? He must have knowledge to create things. If you say, I don't know, that's a serious so, so, issue. So God didn't leave heaven and just come down here. Do you know what I mean? Is that what you're trying to say? No, I'm saying Jesus does not have that uh, attribute to be a God. That's what I'm, does. He's the no, I'm saying, does, does God know everything? Okay, his father know everything. My father know everything. No, he's yes, the father he in the heaven. He knows. Yeah. Everything. Okay. Now, did Jesus know the same level of father what he father knows? <coughs> so when he came in flesh, he was limited. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, very good. So when someone limit himself, can God limit himself? So God in heaven, no, he's limitless, no, he's all omnipresent. So are you saying the Father, Father make limit himself as a form of Jesus? No, so God didn't leave heaven and come down in Jesus, he didn't, he's omnipresent, he's everywhere, yes? Go ahead, go ahead, I'm listening. So he, Jesus, he poured himself into Jesus, okay, he's part of, and he came down as a servant for, on a job. I, how can I say this? I'm, I'm trying to understand you. It's not making no sense. I know, I know, it's hard. You, you're trying your best. But I'm not actually. You're trying, trying your best. best. No, no, you did, you did. But I mean, I'm not trying to. No, look, no. here we are not catching you out or nothing. It's I'm about not to invest no. Here to is simple demonstration that very simply that we can clearly see that the Trinity cannot be reconcilable any way, shape, or form. So therefore, we don't believe this is the concept God revealed to the human being. The simple understanding is God is only one, just like I said. Allah said, oh, oh, yeah. Allah no, no, no difference to me. Do you know what makes a difference to me? Where I'm going when I die. Are right. you sure where you're going when you die? Right. For example. Are you sure? No. In order Do you know to, where you're going when you die? You, this is a very good question. But that cannot be established no. until and unless we establish. No. But no. Uh, no. You, no. It's, it's a very good know. question. But. It's very good. Where que you are going no. when you die? It is it's important. Tell you no, the I'll tell you. That you're going to tell me is no. No, you I know no, where no, I'm no. But you put your own word. You're trying to put your word in my mouth. But I didn't say. I say your salvation. Yeah. Do you my, believe? Do you believe? Go, yeah. Right. I know where okay. I'm going. Okay. Do you believe that every child is a sinner? Yeah, we're all born sinners. Yeah, yes. born sinner. So when you are born, you already committed sin. We're born from no, the seed of Adam. When you born, did you already committed the sin? Sorry. When you born, did you already committed sin or? When I didn't commit any sin. I'm born from sin. Born from sin. Yes, the Adam, the seed of Adam. So, okay, let's go back to Adam. Adam when when Adam? The garden, no, yeah. okay. Did Adam, when he was created, has he already a sinner? No, he was perfect. Oh, fine, him. fine. Think about the point, right? When did he committed sin? The, when I uh, took. Uh, when the instruction was given. I disobeyed God. Right. And then we can become sin. He was, so, so he Adam. Disobeyed God. Okay. So that means. That means. The, that means the sin of Adam. The sin of Adam is not inherent, it is an acquired sin. So listen to me carefully. There's two types of sin here. One is inheritance sin. So in when Adam was created, yeah, yeah, exactly. So therefore, by extension to your logic, if Adam didn't inherit sin, I'm not a sinner, neither you. 
Now it demonstrated to you that the scene we acquire when our consciousness develops when you write in wrong. All right. Does okay. it make sense? Okay, no, hang on. You're saying because he's a perfect man. I, I didn't say perfect man. No, I didn't yeah. say perfect man. So he wasn't a sinner is what you said. No, I said Adam what? when he was created. Adam was created. He did God didn't give him straight away sin. No, it right. is you said he I'm not a sinner and neither are you. That's what you said to me no. from Adams. We're from Adams. I, I didn't I didn't yes, say that. Did. Okay. No 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 I no 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 no, no did. I didn't. Let hear me out. I said Adam did not have inherent sin means when he was created by God. He had no now, he was when he got the sin, when he had the intellectual faculties when he disobeyed God. Hear me out. Intellectual faculty there and it has been doubled up and then when the instruction came in and the disobedience he done the disobedience part right God, yeah. therefore this is out of consciousness he made the sin not he was given to God's him choice yeah. all right there we go now if you follow that extension of the logic yeah. you are not a born sinner neither am i no. right no because no no have, yes because no because now it, adam was not an inherent sinner Adam was not an inherent sinner. He acquired sin. Listen to me carefully. There was one thing well, called inherent sin. Go back to that is a very simple thing. Yeah. One called inherent sin and one called acquired sin. Adam was not inheriting sinner. He is an acquired sinner. By choice. Well, he chose on that logic. Yeah, on that he logic. Right. Therefore, you cannot say, okay, he is an inherent sinner because that proposition is wrong. Because he's not an inherent sinner. Well, but born from Adam, then after now, left the look, garden. hear me out. So now, we purpose. have the tendency to do sin, but not we are sinner. Look, there is a different thing. When I committed the sin, I have the tendency to do sin. He was cursed then, so anything then was cursed. The ground is cursed, the world is cursed, we're all cursed from his sin, him and me. Okay, so he doesn't have inherent sin. He was himself not created with sin. Adam. Going back to the question. Right? Adam was not an inherent sinner. And he didn't inherit sin because he was created. So he, he had acquired sin. Okay? And acquired sin. Choice. Okay. You made the choice. Disobeying God. Okay. So that is a sin. sin. Right. And what is the salvation of this sin? The salvation of yeah. the sin. Yeah. How can we forgive that sin? How can God forgive that sin? Uh, through Jesus Christ, the belief in okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. So someone has to die for the sin. Jesus was oh. the atonement. Okay. So do you see the problem here? And many layers of problem. First of all, first of all, Adam is not an inherent sinner. So therefore, your extension of logic doesn't apply. That because of we born that sin, that must be redeemed through the blood of Jesus. It doesn't make sense. He gave us a way back. But that's your belief, look. That's your belief. That logically not makes sense. Bible, he was our way back to God. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Like, no one, no one comes to the Father except, and that's the word, true me. So yeah. you don't get back to God except through Jesus. Jesus Christ said clearly that I am the truth, I am and the way, the I'm the, the but he's not the destination. Destination is God, not Jesus Christ. Yeah. If you follow Jesus Christ, you reach to God. So he was clearly True saying, God. You get back to God. hear me Jesus. out. There is one thing called destination and one thing called road. This road will lead, lead you to the destination, but this road is the not the destination. The so you may, so do you see the logical the fallacy road. you're making? You're road. saying this road is destination. I am saying, if you follow this road, you will go end up in destination. Okay, that's your way of No, I am just saying basic. I, Jesus is my road, so he's no, my narrow if, road. If you believe it, I, I respect your belief. But I said, can you, you cannot, now if you cannot defend against me, like a human being, how can you oh, defend you against me? against you. No, I'm saying as a human being, you cannot even defend your belief. How can you I defend your belief in front of God? 
if I had a No, but look, did you see the how many, I how much remember. problem in this Trinity sure. concept? How much problem? How many problems? I mean. The layers after layers but after you layers. You say all that, but I can't remember all scripture and say, dear, 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 from my but I have, I've, I've, I Sorry, book. I have demonstrated you a few examples already. I know what you've given me, but you are not going to speak. Shall I give you a copy of the Quran? I have. I know it's, it's this conversation is not going anywhere no. but you know I really I really mean that I really mean that you should go and learn about his mind and I look the reason why we the reason why we engage with Christian because we have a lot of similarities but where we part is the fundamental concept where Islamic concept goes aligned with Bible than the Christian because Christian doesn't follow the Bible because Bible clear verses if you outline all the clear verses you will clearly demonstrate that Jesus is not God he is a human being he is asking God for help he doesn't know the hour and he is in need of help As so in, uh, in flesh yes. no that's that's your own word but he didn't put this word what did he say my who is the only true God father did he say God he didn't say he didn't call no he didn't God. say God he said the only true God is father John 73. That's your homework, anyway. Look after yourself, yeah? It was nice talking to you. You know what? My own daughter is... Uh, I, make, I make prayer that Allah guide you to Islam. No, no. She does it all the time. Don't you stare at it either. <laughs> Look after yourself. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Um, she's... Um, She's very hard on her point and she's keep holding that Trinity is her belief. But I have given her um, a, a range of logical um, arguments so that you know she can see what we see. And may Allah guide her to Islam. That's all I can see. And her daughter is a Muslim, by the way. And that's why I led her uh, to come to park and find out about belief. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide her to Islam. Um, that's it, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.